Cottonwood County Citizen proudly presents Athlete of the Week. With locations in Wyndham, Sanborn, Westbrook, and Heron Lake, Expressway stores carry a full line of convenience items, fresh made deli foods, premium coffee and cappuccino, and quality Senex or BP fuels to keep you and your vehicle fueled for the road ahead. I'm joined right now by Red Rock Central freshman Carter Turkelson, our Athlete of the Week this week. Congratulations, Carter. Thanks. Let's go back to Friday's game uh, with, against WWG and a big rivalry game for, for both teams. And I imagine that the preparation going into the week was very heavy on pass coverage and, and – uh, and really on, on the offensive end, just trying to establish the run. Um, what tell, tell me about just the preparation for a team like WWG that puts the ball in the air as much as they do. Yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of pass prep. They throw the ball. I think they threw it 40 times last week. And um, we had a lot of work to do there. Well, Curry's a pretty good, pretty good back. Had to respect that. And then we struggled a little bit on offense the last couple of weeks, and we got we got that back under control and did pretty good. On the offensive end on Friday night, um, you guys really came out um, and and at least from the from the start made a concerted effort to kind of spread the ball around. But in the second half, it was a, a big dose of you on the ground. Um, what? What adjustment did you guys make at halftime, and and what opened up for you on the ground? Um, yeah, we got that big lead early, spread it out, and then kind of kept it going. And then at halftime, we just kind of wanted to keep it, keep it on the ground, keep the keep the clock going, and uh, keep on keep on doing what you're doing. At one point in the second half, though, uh, I think they they scored. I think I think that got it down to a two score game early in the third quarter. And uh, you know, I was over on the sideline there, and and Coach Janigas pulled the defense aside and and really challenged the defense to come up and and get stops the rest of the way. Um, what was the key to shutting down that? potent passing game yeah we just had to make sure we hit our drops and keep our heads on the slope look they run a lot of crossers and be ready for that and just make sure nothing got behind us and curry is fast um how how big a challenge was it to to contain somebody with that kind of speed you got to have all your lanes covered and don't give any cutback lanes because he's a really good player and really fast but halfway through the fourth quarter, uh, you guys, I think at that point, were up 42 to 21. And uh, and they were putting together a little bit of a drive. Uh, you know, they'd hit a couple of passes. Um, but then you jumped one and and uh, ran it back. Take me through that play. Yeah. Um, they just ran a couple of crossers, and then they left that. They were, had a trips out there and left that back guy out towards the sideline and he looked him down the whole way and then he threw it up there and I just stepped in front of him. As a running back, um, you know, tell me about just the the uh, the the maturation process for you because you're a freshman. Um, you know, you came up to varsity a little bit last season, but that was more on the defensive end. Um so this is really kind of your first year as as a featured running back. Um, what's that process been like for you? Um, get to learn quick. Uh, get a lot of stuff thrown at you, and just kind of got to run with it. What's been the key for you to cut out the fumbles and and take better care of the ball this season? Yeah, I just gotta keep two hands on the ball and make sure that you. Don't ever just let up and you think nobody's there and keep it tight. 
cover up the points. You've got a veteran line in front of you. How important has that been? It makes it way easier. They make some really big holes to run through, and they make a lot of downfield blocks. It makes my job pretty easy. Um, last season, when you came up to varsity as an eighth grader, you guys had a, a thousand yard rusher in Mason Strom last year. How, you know, how valuable was it for you to kind of watch and learn um, to see what he was able to do and to see um, what kind of back he was? And how did that have an impact on your game today? Yeah, watching a guy like that, you learn a lot and just kind of see that. You know, sometimes you just a little patience and a little, just a little. Uh, In a lot of ways, you guys are kind of similar backs. Um, you know, a, a little shifty, but when you get into the open space, you've got some home run speed. Yeah, he he was definitely faster than me, and he's he could really run. But you know, we got a really good line. They. They make some big holes and then get you out there and show what you can to get the most yards. Um, looking ahead to uh, to Friday night, and uh, you've got a big one on Friday with Hills Beaver Creek, and um, realistically, that could determine the number one seed in the section. I imagine that this week in practice is going to be uh, going to be really interesting for you guys, and. Um, you know, what have you seen from Hills Beaver Creek so far this season on, on film, and and uh, what's it going to take to win on Friday? Yeah, they're, they're a pretty good team, really solid. Um, we watched them this morning, and they uh, their defense is solid. And we, sh we should be able to run. They, their offense is pretty good. They have a fast quarterback, but on Friday they, um, they started using two quarterbacks. We have to prepare for both, and they're gonna. They got a couple of good backs that can do some stuff, so we'll have to really make sure we're sound on defense to have a good shot of winning. The way the section is shaping up, um, you know, right now, it it could be a four-team logjam at the top, and and uh, honestly, you could probably throw Edgerton in there too, and and uh, any of those five top teams could have a realistic shot of winning it. Yeah, it's a pretty competitive section and a lot of good teams. And these last couple weeks, we're going to be really crucial to get our stuff together and keep, get focused and be ready for them. Last year, it was the homecoming game against WWG, and I got my first carry, and I took it 24 yards, which was my number. Got a lot of country music. Uh, Luke Combs, he's pretty good. Redville, they're a really solid team. Yeah, probably uh, kind of want to get it done. Get out there and get it. I like being outdoors. I like to hunt fish. Well, that should be all we need. Uh, congratulations on a big win Friday. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. With locations in Wyndham, Sanborn, Westbrook, and Heron Lake, Expressway stores carry a full line of convenience items, fresh-made deli foods, premium coffee and cappuccino, and quality Cenex or BP fuels to keep you and your vehicle fueled for the road ahead.